happy Monday and welcome back to the Creative Vibe Studios. It's time for another Mindset Monday. Today is the end of a month. It's the end of the year in about 60 days and we got to wrap things up. So I want you to get your mindset wrapped around not only the Christmas gifts that you're going to give, but thinking about how you can celebrate your wins for this year, complete any tasks that you want to wrap up before the new year, and commit to the goals and the things that you want to do in the new year. Like I said, there are less than 60 days, just really close to 60 days left in this year. 2022 has flown by. How are you going to prepare for the next year? And how are you going to prepare yourself mentally to do the work that you need to do in order to wrap things up this year and feel really prepared to go into the new year. Now's the time to start reflecting on this year. Like I said, celebrate your wins, guys. Please do not forget to celebrate how far you've come. If you're like me, I'm looking back at the calendar. I'm like, where did the year go? Like it was just April. (laughs) It was just summer. It was just 4th of July. Like time is flying by and it's important to celebrate how far you've come because it's easy since time is flying to forget all the great things that you've done. So take a moment, give yourself some applause, buy you some Starbucks, do something great for yourself to celebrate, and then get back into the game and start setting your goals for the new year. Now, here's a great quote I want you to think about. If you have a strong purpose in life, you don't have to be pushed. Your passion will drive you there. I thought this was a great quote, and I kind of wanted to start this session off thinking about your purpose. Why are you here? Why are you dedicated to changing your mindset? Why are you driven to be and do better? And if you can answer that question and maybe you're feeling a little bit of a struggle or maybe you're feeling overwhelmed or tired or exhausted, listen, it's hard work. Your purpose is going to be hard work. And if you are not feeling these feelings and feeling, you know, pushed, then you're probably not working on your purpose and you're not passionate about it. Keyword is the passion that you have for your purpose and for developing your skills and for growing in this lifetime is very important. So I want you to think about how passionate you are and how you are prepared to bring that passion into the new year. Here are a few things you can do right now to prepare for the new year. The first thing, as you know, we got to wake up every single day and be intentional. Okay, Bridget, how do I wake up and be intentional? It takes time, guys. You have to get into a mindset that every morning you're going to start your day with a routine. Whatever works best for your schedule, your household, your relationships, whatever's going on around you, you've got to make time for yourself. In the morning is the best time because if you can get up and be prepared prior to the day starting, prior to everyone else needing you and pulling you, take some time for yourself. Plan out your day. Use a goal setting planner in order to really think about what's the priority for the day. How am I going to get things done? And this is the kicker, guys. Be prepared for the distractions. Like what could possibly happen that will throw your game off? Maybe you've got to go to a doctor's appointment. Maybe you've got a luncheon in the middle of your normal productivity hour. Like how do you plan your day around what's happening in real life? be intentional. So the more you take effort to grab what's happening, to be present, to not be emotional about all the things, right? So easy to get frustrated when people interrupt you. It's so easy to be overwhelmed when there's deadlines and and things are happening and people are throwing you off. And it's just, you know, social media is always there. You got to take a minute to start, you know, you've got to (laughs) hone in your mindset around the intention you have, and what you want to achieve every single day. The second thing is, listen, this is a big one. And I'd like to say, just if I can, this year I've really worked hard on setting boundaries, something that I hadn't really done in the past. You know, I think it's very important for us to take care of our mindset and our mental health because a lot of times people are not intentionally trying to hurt you. We just take it personal. 
And if you know that you're going to be triggered by something, or if you're going to be set off and it's going to distract you from your goals, from your purpose, from the things that you know are important and you are unable to prioritize because, you know, vampires are still in your energy, you have to set the boundaries for yourself. So you know when you are being pulled or if someone is trying to guilt you into doing something, you don't have to take that. You can say, you know what? I am working from one to four on this project. I cannot be bothered. Don't pick up your phone. Let people know that if they're texting you and you've told them not to text you, don't respond, right? You have to set the boundaries and it's hard work, guys. It is hard to especially if you really are a genuine, open and person that wants to serve and wants to help, but you have to protect yourself because if you give and give and give to everyone else and to all the things that are coming your way, you will never have time to take care of yourself mentally and you'll be overwhelmed and stressed out and your energy has to be protected so that you can achieve your goals so that you can grow in life so that you can have that peace of mind that what you're doing is good and that you can continue to grow month to month and year to year. The third thing is we just talked about it. You got to continue to grow and you have to be patient in your purpose. Okay. Understanding all the steps. And that's why I think this picture of the, the butterfly coming out of the cocoon, that takes time. And let me just say, do you think it's comfortable in there? Do you think that this caterpillar had any idea what was about to happen when this transformation started to, to like, they didn't know. It's just an uncomfortable time. And what you have to do, just take it from me. And if you can remember this, when you feel like you're feeling like, oh, I can't take it anymore. I just want to quit. It's all about this process. Step by step, things will happen that will keep you uncomfortable. Things will happen that will test you and challenge you. This part of the process is, you can't, it's unavoidable. (laughs) Like you can't get around it. And most of the time, that's what we do. We try to avoid any type of uncomfortability, like anything that's not going to be comfortable and just go completely avoid it. And you don't want to be stuck avoiding your purpose because you're only setting yourself back. If you try to avoid every obstacle and every hurdle that's coming your way, you're not going to learn from that challenge. And the goal every time you're being tested is to mentally prepare to be present, to analyze, and to reflect on what you already have learned and how you can implement those things that you've overcome in the past with what's happening now so that you can grow into the future. And a lot of times we are challenged because things are happening that we don't know what to do, right? So there's that gray area where it's it's confusing and it's frustrating where I don't know what's going on right now, but you have to really understand that the process is there to make you better. It's not there to punish you. And if you are dedicated to growing into your purpose, this in your, you have this mindset that you know what's happening, you can start to shift and think in your head, okay, this is really pissing me off right now. I'm so frustrated, but I know that I have to go through this and think about the path through the storm and not how do you get out of it and how do you protect yourself from having to go in? Because The reality is you have to go in and grow through every single challenge so that you can get to the end and understand your purpose. And you have to, the last thing, well, actually there's one more after this. Number four is don't be afraid to do it alone, right? I think we're setting goals and we we're protecting ourselves, you know, we're we're taking care of ourselves, our self-care, we're setting boundaries and we're trusting the process. And it's scary to be on your own doing this, right? Maybe you have to stop telling everybody what your plans are. Maybe you have to just do it on your own. And that's okay. And it's and it's okay to say, you know what, I need to do this by myself. 
Last week, I had a great meeting with a client of mine and she knows that she could call me and we can talk through things or I could create something to support her visually for her projects as the, you know, the graphic designer that I am and the brand development coach partnership that we have. I was so proud of her because she said, I knew I could reach out to you, but I did it want to bother you. And I said, well, you know, immediately I'm like, well, why didn't you want to bother me? You know, I could help you and I could do it. She said, listen, I just wanted to do it on my own. I wanted to do it for myself. Now, if you could have heard the story that she told me about how uncomfortable it was doing it by herself, how frustrated, all of the emotions, it was a roller coaster of sweaty and nervousness and just like overwhelmed. But at the end of her story of saying what she achieved on her own, was applause. People were clapping for her that she did not expect to have touched and to have inspired. And that inspired me. And I told her, I said, listen, I give you great, great credit for doing it on your own and being afraid and admitting that, you know what, I didn't know what I was doing and it probably looked crazy. And I, I know I should have asked for help, but I wanted to do this on my own. Sometimes we have to take initiative to use a goal setting planner and put your ideas out of your head and onto paper. And you don't have to share it with the world. This is for you. And then you have to check things off the list and actually physically go and do them. And doing them on your own can be scary, but guess what? On the other side of that fear is a celebration. It's it's for you to say, you know what? Look what I've done. And now I know how to make it better because most of the time it's not going to be great, right? Let's just say you're trying to start your YouTube channel and you have not a clue about technology, but you get on there, you record your video, you press play and you un- you upload it and it's out there for the world. You did it. And you you learned the technology and now you know how to make it better. So every single time, it's just a cycle. You're going to continue to keep going, to keep moving forward so that it can just be better and better. And you'll just learn and grow into your purpose. The fifth thing is be ready to commit, right? And you have to commit this. You have to make a commitment to yourself. You have to decide this is what I want to do. There's been so many times in my business over the last 10 years that I have like pulled everything out and put it in a box and said, I'm, I'm giving up. I'm going to just go get a job because I can't, I can't do this anymore. It's ridiculous for me to be thinking that I can do this. I can have my own business. I can run a company, but you know what? You have to be committed. And guess what I did? (laughs) A week later, I went right back in that box. I pulled all of my things out and I said, you know what? I'm committed to this. No matter how bad it sucks, how hard it is to get clients, how hard it is to understand this technology and the resources and to, to build my brand, I am not going to quit. And I want to encourage you to continue to manifest your dreams. Whatever it is that you want to commit to, I don't, if it's, if it's just running your business better, if it's learning how to be a better communicator, if it's doing something totally different from anything you've ever done, you want to scuba dive, you want to start planning time to take trips around the world, do it. All you have to do is be committed to it and put it on your calendar. Next year we'll be here before you know it. And these resources that I'm sharing with you are 30 days, 30 days of commitment, of planning, of taking action. Every single month will create new habits, new routines. You will start thinking differently about getting up early in the morning. Getting up early in the morning now means you just go to bed earlier, right? You get your rest that you need in order to be productive throughout the the day, to take on all the challenges, to mentally be present and prepared for giving your best effort. And when you have a, a plan that you're putting into action and that you're actually implementing you're going to see results. And that's the best part of this whole situation is that you're going to end this year looking back to celebrate all the wins, to really complete all your projects in the next couple of weeks, and to commit to what you want to do and achieve in the new year. As you know, 
we here in the Creative Vibes Studio, we believe in taking action. So don't just listen to this video. Don't just take notes. Don't just download this PDF and get your dreams and your goals set all outlined and not do anything about it. I want you just to commit to taking action. I want you to commit to yourself by putting things actually on your calendar and being prepared for the blessings and for the gifts and for all of the results to be successful because you've taken action and you've committed to doing things today. This has been your Mindset Monday. It's time to get out there and go be great. And I'll see you next week.